I'm gonna go out the back and start there now. Pretty scary out there. Have a look at the back. Oh. So this is the back. Pretty open, which is good. We've got lots of hard surfaces to reveal. The ride-on's gonna take care of most of that. Hopefully there's, there's a bit of junk there. I'm praying there's not too much. Get handled. down the side there so I'm gonna have to do the best I can then just give it a bit of a chemical treatment
definitely have some potential to be rained on today. So I'm actually really surprised how well the grass has dried up and broken down. The growth is absolutely insane for a week. I knocked this down a week ago when I did the front. The volume of grass was just wild. But have a look at the growth. This is in a week. All of that is new growth. All that green is new growth. There's still some heavy piles of clippings, which we're going to mow over again, put it in a pile, then put it in the bins. Rob's just going and grabbed one. Um, yeah. Just put all this into a big pile. Again, never really shows on camera what a pile that is. Lots of grass here. So I'll, I'll rake it up into a bigger pile. And uh, then into the bin, which is super, super handy. So that's one of the things I was most concerned about getting done before the rain hits because the grass is really light and easy to handle at the moment. Uh, if it gets rained on, it becomes a nightmare again.
So I can't do much about that. Um, it looks like that is to stop the dog from getting through the fence and all that section there. Uh, I'll do what I can. This corner is not fun at all, that's all to stop the dog going through the fence. Uh, there's junk there too. I'm gonna give it some good night juice. This is going to look absolutely dreadful at the end and messy, but I hope you can appreciate that it is a massive difference. Once it's dry, it'll be fine, but it's just a messy process. Now everything is soaked now, so while I would normally carve this edge right out to the um, you know, edge of the concrete, I'm not going to do that today because it's just going to turn to mud and absolutely spray everything and make more mess than it's worth. So we're just getting it as good as we can. I know that's not sort of certified lawn detailing that I normally do. Out here shouldn't be too bad, but here where all the, the dirt is, it just creates so much mess. I don't want to be just spraying the house. This is the second visit here too, so I mean, I can only spend so long at each property. It really, <laughs> it's burning me not to be able to do that, but it's just gonna be far too messy. But look, we've got a path here. Let's reveal this one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
That is another Fremo Fridays done. What an absolute miracle of a change. I'll be the first to admit that this isn't my best certified lawn detailing. The rain just makes it ultra tough to clean up this stuff. But I think you can safely say we've made a massive difference here. It's in a maintainable state now. What happens to it from here is up to them. At least we've given it to them in the state where a normal mower can get over this yard now. That's the most grass I've seen in a while. We had to make some concessions along the fence line. There was chicken wire. Again, to keep the dog from getting outside, wasn't able to carve out all of the paths the way I'd like to just because of dirt and mud, but I'm very happy with you know, how it turned out. Thank you for watching these videos. You guys are the reason that I've been doing this for three years now. So thank you for watching. We get some sponsored videos and that definitely helps, but the main reason is you guys watching these. I've already started next week's job. It's an absolute doozy. Make sure you're following or subscribe to see that one. It's the first job I'm using uh, my new flail mower at too. So, Fremo Fridays are on Friday all the time now. We have vlogs on Monday, Wednesday, and Sundays. Fremo Fridays on Friday. That is the channel schedule. Hopefully that's less confusing for people. If you don't like the vlogs, no stress. They're all titled vlogs, so just don't watch them. If you do watch the vlogs, I really appreciate it. it. Gives me a lot more opportunity to talk to you guys answer questions and give you a bit more behind the scenes about what actually goes on so make sure you're following or subscribe to check that out thanks a lot see you next time